Welcome to Ring Theory. With the Balrog being shown in the trailer for Amazon's Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, but as of yet no Balrog seen on screen, I thought it'd be a great time to remind ourselves of exactly what a Balrog is. Balrogs were Maya that are corrupted by Melkor into his service. Maya are essentially angelic beings in Tolkien's universe, who were created by the Valar to help shape the world. If none of this is making sense and you're not familiar with Maya and Valar, let me give you a quick rundown and explanation of what I'm talking about. Iru Iluvatar was the creator, godlike figure of Tolkien's world. Under him, there were the Valar, smaller godlike beings, of which there were 15. In very basic terms, Tolkien's creation story speaks of Eru Iluvatar singing the Arda, the world, into existence, and all of the Valar contributed to the music, thus creating the world. They all contributed except for Melkor, or Morgoth, whose vision differed from Eru's. This led to his great rebellion and banishment from Valinor. The first age ends with him being cast into the void and defeated. Interestingly, this is what the Rings of Power's introduction sequence references, the world being sung into existence, but Melkor going against Eru and the Valar. We see a black shape swirling through in the credits, and I believe, like many other commentators, that this is a nod to Melkor going against Eru and the Valar's music. The Maya were created by Eru to serve the Valar. They were the angelic-like beings who, although were created in service of the Valar, were still powerful in their own right. Of these Maya include all of the wizards, Gandalf, Saruman, Radagast, they were sent by the Valar to assist the peoples of Middle-earth in the Third Age to counter the rise of the Dark Lord Sauron, who was also himself a fallen Maya. So essentially all of the wizards we see in Lord of the Rings, Sauron and the Balrogs are the same type of being, Maya, who were initially created to service the Valar. It's widely debated the number of Maya Melkor was able to corrupt and turn into these fiery Balrogs. What we do know is by the end of the First Age and the Great War of Wrath where Melkor was defeated, that the majority of the Balrogs were also struck down. It's said that without their leader, the few that remained delved deep into the earth in hiding or hibernation. Balrogs do look incredible in Peter Jackson's trilogy, and it looks like the show has opted to use basically the same design. But the Balrog most are familiar with, Durin's Bane, was described in The Fellowship of the Ring as it was like a great shadow in the middle of which was a dark form of a man shape maybe yet greater, and a power and terror seemed to be in it and to go before it. So, they're not actually of the great size depicted by Peter Jackson's movies, just a bit taller than an average man, and typically described to be surrounded by shadow and flame, and also wield fiery swords and whips. In addition, they are more magical than the movies give them credit for. In a passage, also in The Fellowship of the Ring, Gandalf describes, As I stood there, I could hear orc voices on the other side. At any moment, I thought they would burst it open. I could not hear what was said. They seemed to be taking in their own hideous language. All I caught was gash. That means fire. Then something came into the chamber. I felt it through the door, and the orcs themselves were afraid and fell silent. It laid hold of the iron ring, and then it perceived me and my spell. What it was, I cannot guess but I have never felt such a challenge. The counterspell was terrible. It nearly broke me. For an instant, the door left my control and began to open. I had to speak a word of command that proved too great a strain. The door burst into pieces. Something dark as a cloud was blocking out all the light inside, and I was thrown backwards down the stairs. All the wall gave way, and the roof of the chamber as well, I think. I love this passage from the books. Although Tolkien's magic system is notoriously vague, I enjoy that magic in this universe doesn't have to be examined under a microscope. We're in a fantasy genre after all. It shows that the Balrog's might is not just in its physical strength or skill with weaponry, but in its powerful magic, based on it being a Maya, just like Gandalf.
I also want to quickly address another debated point in the fandom. Do Balrogs have wings? No, they don't. Fine, they do in the films and will do in the series as it looks cool, but in the text it's clear that the shadow about it, the Balrog, reached out like two vast wings. Like two vast wings, not reached around its vast wings. As well as this, the great elven warrior Glorfindel also died whilst defeating a Balrog when they both fell off a cliff's edge. We know Durin's Bane also fell off a bridge in khazad before pulling Gandalf down with him. If they had wings, we wouldn't have proof of two Balrogs dying after falling from great heights. They would simply fly. What do you think? Where do you stand on the question, do Balrogs have wings? Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel I'll be focusing on anything and everything to do with The Lord of the Rings, Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy and the new TV show. If you like the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button.